Hello everyone. Today we are going to design a circular footing. Let us read the question and write the given data. Design a reinforced concrete circular footing for a circular column of 300 mm diameter. The diameter of the column is given as 300 mm. Supporting a factored axial load of 750 kN, the factored load PU is given as 750 kN. Adopt the safe bearing capacity of the soil as 200 kN per meter square. QS is given as 200 kN per meter square. Use M20 grade concrete and FE415 high yield strength deformed bars. FCK is 20, FOE is 415. The first step in the design is to find the size of the footing. Let us assume that the sulfate of the footing is 10% of the total load. So we will get 75 kN. To find the total factored load, we need to add these two so that we will get 825 kN. To find the factored safe bearing capacity of soil, we have to multiply QS with 1.5, we will get 300. Using this formula, we can find the footing area. We are going to design a circular footing. We know the area formula of circle pi d square upon 4. Using that, we can find the diameter of the footing as 1.87 meter. Let us round that as a 2 meter. Therefore, we are going to provide a circular footing of diameter 2 meter. Now, let us find the factored soil pressure. The formula is PU upon area. PU is the load on the column. The diameter of footing is 2. Using that, we can find the area of footing. We will get 238.7. It is less than the factored bearing capacity of the soil. In this case, the diameter of the footing is adequate. Now, we are going to find the factored bending moment. We need to find the center of gravity of the quadrant of the footing. This is the formula. Let us see how to derive this formula. This is the column and this is the footing. Let us take this quadrant of the footing. In the quadrant, we have to shade only in the footing area. We have to keep the column area as empty. We need to find the distance of center of gravity from the point O. Using this formula, we can find that A1 is the area of the footing quadrant. This is the radius of the footing. We know the area formula of a full circle, pi r square. To find the quadrant area, we have to divide this by 4. So area 1 is pi r square upon 4. A2 is the area of the quadrant of the column. This is the radius of the column. The area formula is pi r square upon 4. For the quadrant of 14, the centroid distance formula is 2r upon pi and for the quadrant of the column it is 2r upon pi after simplifying this we will get this for 2 upon pi we can approximately write as 0 0.6 using aq minus bq formula we can expand this like this and using a square minus b square formula we can expand this like this then we can eliminate R minus R. In this way, we will get this formula. It is not necessary to derive this formula. If you remember this formula, you can write straight away. Let us apply the values in the formula. The diameter of the footing is 2. So R will be 2 by 2. It will be 1. And the column diameter is 0.3. So small r will be 0.3 by 2. So it will be 0.15. Let us apply them. After calculating, we will get 0.61 meter. We need to find the upward load on the shaded area B dash B C C dash. This is the area formula. 
we can apply the values. So finally, we will get 183 kilonewton to find the bending moment at the face of the column quadrant. We have to multiply this with this length. We know this length as 0 0.61, but only we need this length. This is the column radius that is 0.15. So to get this length, we have to subtract 0.15 by 0.61. For the bending moment, we will get 84.2 kN meter. We need to find this distance in millimeter. Let us keep this distance as breadth B. We know the formula to find the perimeter of a circle, pi D, but here there is only quadrant. So we have to divide this by 4. Here the diameter is 0.3. We can apply that in millimeter. In this way, for the breadth B of quadrant, we will get 235 millimeter. Using this formula, we can find the effective depth D. Let us see how to derive this formula. We need to open this code book, page number 70 and 96. In this formula, for x u max upon d, we have to apply 0.48. In this way, we can derive this formula. Let us apply the values inside the formula. B just before we have found 235. Fck is 20. For D, we will get 360 millimeter, but it is a smaller value. For shear consideration, the depth should be nearly 1.5 times of this value. So 360 into 1.5, we will get 540. Let us provide the effective depth D as 525 millimeter and the overall depth D as 600 millimeter. Now we are going to assign the reinforcement in the footing. In the code book from this page, we can write this formula. Finally, we will get this equation using a calculator. We can solve this equation. For AST, we will get 484. Using this formula, we can find the minimum AST. For that, we will get 169.2. Our AST is bigger than that. So, we can proceed with this AST. Randomly, let us provide 12 mm diameter bars at the spacing of 150 mm on both the ways of the footing. Let us find AST per unit meter length. This is the area of the rebar into 1000 upon the spacing. We will get the area as 754 mm square. Now we are going to check for the shear stresses. First, let us check for one way shear. Using this formula, we can find the shear force Vu, Qu, we know that. Let us see how to find this area. One-way shear stress is calculated at a distance of D, that is the effective depth from the face of the column. So this distance will be 0 0.525 and this distance will be 0 0.525. We know that the column diameter 0.3. When we add all of them, we will get 1.35. We need to find the shaded area. The area formula is pi by 4 into d square minus d square. This diameter is 2 meter. So 2 square minus this diameter, which is 1.35. Also, we need to find this perimeter. The formula is pi d. Here, the diameter is 1.35. So, it will be 1.35 pi. Now, using the area, we can find vu. Then, we can find the shear force per meter width of perimeter. We have to divide the perimeter just before we have calculated. We will get 96 into 10 power 3 newton. Using this formula, we can find the shear stress tau v. We will get 0 0.18. Then using this formula, we can find pt. For that, we will get 0 0.143. In this code book, let us open the page number 73. We need to find tau c. Our fck is 20. 
our PT value is 0 0.143. If the PT value is less than 0 0.15, tau C is 0 0.28. Now let us open the page number 72. We have to find tau C K. The values of K are given here. The overall depth in this design is 600 millimeter. If the overall depth is 300 or more, K is 1. So tau C into K will be 0 0.28 into 1. So we will still get 0 0.28. Tau C K is greater than tau V. So the section is safe under one way shear. Now let us check for two way shear. Here also we need to find VU. Let us see how to find this area. Two-way shear stress is calculated at a distance of d upon 2. d is 0.525 meter divided by 2. We will get 0.2625 from the face of the column. So this distance will be 0.2625 and this distance will be 0.2625. This is the diameter of column. 0.3 meter. When we add all of them, we will get 0.825. We need to find the shaded area pi by 4 into d square minus d square. d is diameter of the footing 2 meter and small d is this diameter which is 0.825. So this is the area. We need to find this perimeter that is 0 0.825 pi for vu we will get this then using this formula we can find tau v let us open this code book page number 59 we need to find ks that is 0 0.5 plus beta c beta c being the ratio of short side to the long side of the column our column is circular so in all of the directions we have the diameter 0 0.3 0 0.3 upon 0 0.3 it will be 1 so for ks we will get 1.5 but ks should not be greater than 1 in this case we have to keep ks as 1 we need to find ks tau c tau c is 0 0.25 root of fck our fck is 20 for tau c we will get 1.11 KS is 1, so 1 into 1.11, we will get 1.11. Tau C KS is greater than Tau V, so the section is safe under 2-way shear. Here you can see the reinforcement details. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.